Well, it's like the Boy Scouts say, always be prepared. I'm not sure they were referring to fashion and outfits for that mantra, but you know, to each their own. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have decided to join me here today. So if you watched my last week's episode, you know that this gal has traveled across the Atlantic to a land called Great Britain. I am in England from the middle of April to the middle of May, visiting my in-laws, visiting my family, my husband's family. I'm super excited to be there. Um, so yeah, we're kind of on this little travel theme currently. So last week we, we covered how to pack for when you travel, how to create a capsule wardrobe from when we travel. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about our travel outfits. So for those long travel days, if you're traveling internationally, you know how it goes. Those days can seem like weeks. So these are outfits that you can wear for those long travel days, yet still feel edgy and chic. When choosing my travel outfits, there are two things that I prioritize. Prioritize. To be comfortable, and as well as that stylistic. I'm definitely one that's always uncomfortable on flights. I just get antsy, I can't relax, I never sleep, I never sleep on flights. Even on an overnight flight that's 10 hours, I never sleep, I just, I can't. It's super frustrating. So you do not wanna be around this gal when she gets off that flight, no. Yeah, for me, it's extremely important to be comfortable in those situations. I also, I wanna, I wanna be stylistic. I wanna have some style. I still wanna feel like myself. I still wanna have that edgy chic vibe, but that's just me. Some people could care less, I get it. But for me, that's where I'm at. So that is what we're talking about today, our travel outfits that are comfortable and practical, yet edgy and chic. There we go. Okay, tip number one is no waist digging bottoms. No. I'm sure you've been there when you've just, you've had a moment of sheer regret realizing that you've chosen the worst pair of pants you could because they are just digging into your waist. Not only does that affect like acid reflex, digestion, it also then like presses on your bladder. Um, I don't know if this is just getting to be TMI, but you get where I'm going with this, right? So uh, I think the best thing to do is just to avoid those waist digging pants. And I think for this, you just have to know your pants. <laughs> don't wear a new pair of pants that you've never worn for a long period of time. Like wear your tried and true go-tos that you know you can sit in for a really long time. Number two is breathable fabrics. This is another one that I've learned the hard way. Before I was kind of really well aware of how my body was affected by, you know, poor quality fabrics or really high blends or synthetic blends. Um, yeah, I've definitely had it where I've definitely layered up with synthetic fibers and there's just no escaping. There's no escaping your body warmth. It's like, you're either gonna be cold, super cold or super friggin' overheating hot. Nobody wants to sit next to that person on their flight. Like nobody wants to be that person on the flight. So um, I definitely prioritize just choosing good breathable fabrics. And those fabrics are definitely gonna be your cottons, your bamboos, tinsel lyosil, wool. Those type of things are going to definitely be breathable. They're also going to be heat retention. So just meaning that they're gonna moderate your body temperature. Who knows what your body temperature is gonna be on a flight. My body temperature fluctuates like at least seven times on a flight. So I just want to always be prepared with good breathable fabrics. Number three is layers are key. With that also goes like definitely not wearing things that are kind of breezy. So I've worn like button up shirts on a flight with no base layer underneath it, which normally on a regular basis I do all the time. But on a flight, you know, like it's, it's like, where the heck is that? draft coming from, drafts just find any sort of opening they can find. So if you're wearing a button up shirt without a base layer, that draft is gonna find you. If you're using breathable fabrics, it's really easy to then layer up. And then what's nice about that is you can eliminate the layers as you go, because again, my temperature fluctuates 
so much on a flight. One minute I'm roasting, the next minute I'm absolutely freezing and cannot get warm. So for me, I love to have the different layers to kind of shed off and add on when I need to. Another little tip with this is that this, I usually will wear, if I'm bringing a coat on a trip, I will wear my coat onto the flight. It's a great way to save space in your suitcase, but along with that, it's a great like bonus layer to have. Like if you do get really cold on a flight to have like a coat to kind of wrap up in or to use as like a, an extra blanket. So I, I like to have that as an option too. Number four is shoes you can run in. Yes. <laughs> This might sound kind of funny, but I think, yeah, you need shoes that you can run in for however many different scenarios. Any shoe that you can run in is, is gonna be a comfortable shoe that you can wear all day long. Whether it's like just, you know, that you want that comfort and that practicality, or like you're somebody that's always running late for your flights. And as well as that, something that's easy to take on and off. Like you don't want to be fussing around with your shoes at the security line. You do not want to be that person that's holding up the security line, no. Number five is black is your best friend. Black doesn't show anything. So it's just very forgiving. So if you do spill on yourself, isn't gonna look dingy. So when you get off the flight, you're not looking super dingy and grungy and it just always looks chic and classic. So you really can't go wrong. So now I wanted to share a few of my go-to pieces or go-to favorites that will help you keep that edgy chic style mood for your outfit, but at the same time being functional and practical. Okay, number one is edgy chinos. So chinos fit in perfectly with all of those practical tips. They're not digging into your waistline. They're super breathable fabric. And if you go black, you can't go wrong. But these are great for just that edgy chic vibe because they are sophisticated, they are preppy. Um, and if you have some little edgy details in there, like these pair that I'm showing here, the tapering effect, they got the vertical stripes. It definitely brings in a bit of that edge. So then you're automatically out the gate looking stylish and chic. But as well as that, they can be paired with pretty much most things. Number two is boyfriend or relaxed fitting jeans. So a lot of people are like, what? You're wearing jeans on a flight? Yes, girl, I love jeans. And I find jeans to be very comfortable um, as long as you're mindful of the fit that, you know, the jeans aren't gonna be digging into your waistline. But I also love them just because again, it's got the breathable fabric, they're durable, but they're bringing in that style as well. And again, similar to the Chino, you can put so much with them. They're, they pretty much go with anything, so you can't really go wrong. Number three is leggings. You may have seen my previous video, the how to style leggings in 2022. So there's lots of options for styling them to keep them edgy chic um, and not super like boring or casual. They're just a great choice because they fit within all the categories that like I've said, being super comfortable, breathable. The nice thing about them as well, they don't get wrinkly or icky, they just look fabulous and fierce all the time. As well as that, the compression's probably gonna help just on the flight as well. But then yeah, just for the style, they're gonna bring in that fun contrast to whatever you pair them with. Number four is button up shirts. I did mention that, yeah, they can be a little troublesome if you don't have a base layer underneath, cause yes, that draft will find you. They're in a great thing for layering, whether it's, you know, you start off with it buttoned all the way up, you can style it differently. So if you kind of want to change it up mid flight, very comfortable very breathable, but it's bringing in a bit of sophistication. It's just an easy way to elevate your look from basic to chic, but without losing that function, that practicality. Number five is cardigans and blazers. So I love wearing open layers like these because like I said, I like to layer up, but I like to have layers that are easy to take off. So cardigans are great for that, blazers are great for that. A lot of people are kind of like, what? Like when I say a blazer, like thinking that can't be super comfortable or functional, but the blazers that I buy definitely are because I'm usually buying oversized or ones that aren't super constricting. And I'm usually buying ones that are like good fabrics that are breathable and durable. So I still am super comfortable and still have kind of lots of room to move. But what's great about the blazer is kind of like the button up shirt. It's bringing in a bit of that chic sophistication, but without losing the you know function and the practicality of all the other stuff. Same with cardigans, gonna add some chicness to it as well. So they're usually always like my go-to layering pieces. Number six is comfy Chelsea boots or high top sneakers. I would say that it's usually for me, it's one of those two for my shoes for a flight. They're both very comfortable. They're both really easy to get on and off when you're at that security checkpoint. And when you're on the flight, I always like to take my shoes off on flight, but 
of course, they're both very stylistic. They're both bringing in some edge, some style to your look. They really dictate a vibe of a look. So I think with those two, you really are going to um, secure, ensure the style of your outfit. Okay, so those are my tips for how to choose a good travel outfit for long days of travel. Super excited for my trip. I'm really excited to see family and to just catch up on lost times. And I hope that you yourself are catching up on lost times with friends and family. If you enjoyed today's episode, give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and click the little bell to get notified when I post those new episodes. All right, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye!